Hi everyone, I'm Rosie for Leaky TV for Tuesday the 1st of February 2011. Let's get on with the news. We do have some news today. The US release date for the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 DVD has been released. It is April the 15th, 2011. You may recall that the UK release date is the 11th of April 2011. We also have more details about the formats that the DVD is going to be released in, the digital downloads, there's Blu-rays, there's a gift set, and you can find out all of that information below. Secondly, we've got a brand new issue of Scribblers, Leaky's essay writing project up. There's four new essays, it's absolutely great. And don't forget that we've got the call dates all up and out there for those of you who are looking to submit an essay to the writing project. Lastly, but never least, a new contest has been announced, a new magical creature contest by opening up Crookshank's mouth, having a deep look into the throat, right into the belly, where you will find some mice, possibly scabbers, and of course, links to the dash leaky dash org or leakynews.com. Now onto fan fiction. For those of you who don't know and didn't watch John's video yesterday, it is Fan Fiction Week on Leaky TV. This is the next instalment of it. Picking up from where he left off, so if you haven't seen John's video yet, then watch that first and then jump to this point in the video once you're done with John's video, if that makes sense. <laughs> Try something new with the carrows, said Neville, buttering the floor and then performing the jelly legs jinx. Ginny laughed, but Hannah just looked impatient. Well, we need to do something. Amicus is already going on and on and on about how he's going to practice force flinching on us next time we misbehave in a defence against the dark arts class, and I'm fairly sure he's not joking. Forced splinching. Looking as though she was about to throw up, Ginny shuddered. If only we could get the room of requirement involved, said Neville. So something like, I require a room no death eater can escape until the room is surrounded by angry fire ants, blasted into scroots, and thestral vampire crossbreeds. I think it's safer if they don't know about the room. Or even if they do know about it already, we shouldn't let on that we all use it. It's a good idea though, Neville. Ginny sat down on the windowsill and tried to think, but her mind was utterly blank. After a long pause, Hannah spoke up. I feel worse for the first and second years. It was so much fun when we were that old. Apart from one of us getting possessed by Voldemort and these giant snakes swanning around the castle, it really was a laugh. I wish we could give the first years a, just a taste of what it was like for us. Well, why don't we? said Neville. Instead of using the room of requirement to trap the Death Eaters, let's use it to give the first and second years some respite. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not